Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a, another video of mine. I have not posted in a very long time, but I came back to start posting, uh, I hope on a regular basis once again. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about why you should be switching to something higher than a 60Hz monitor if you have not already. Also, one thing I wanted to point out, the gameplay in the background is not mine, it is Mongrel's, and I'll put the link into the uh, description of the video I got it from. So to clear that out of the way, let's get straight into today's video. So the first reason that you should be switching to something higher than a 60 hertz monitor is that it is just a great competitive advantage. Not only do you get less input delay, but your game also is smoother and more responsive. There is just one thing that you need whenever you have a 144 hertz monitor, and that is to have a constant 144 frames, or at least something in between 60 and 144. You don't have to have that, but it's recommended that you get that smoother experience definitely in certain games that you play that is fast paced and that you have to do things quicker than other players to have a better advantage. Also, having 144 hertz or higher improves your gaming experience as long as your computer is power enough, powerful enough to produce that much frames in certain games. And on the part that it is a uh, definite competitive advantage is that um, people who have less hertz monitors or anything like that uh, you will have a better chance at winning certain fights uh, but it all also depends on your ping and your internet speed playing games at a higher refresh rate can also um, definitely impact uh, your full game um, like i said with fast place fast paced competitive games Every frame that you have on your screen um, counts. I will link a video in the description that also shows you the difference between 30 FPS, 60, 120, 144, and 240. So go check that out. Uh, it will definitely show you the differences of how many frames you can see um, on your monitor uh, with a different refresh rate. Also, some of the main parts of having a higher resolution is that things... Uh, are smoother and that uh, it, it gives you more of a time to respond to certain things if someone like, shoots at you you have a more enough time to you know react and you'll definitely have a faster um, reaction time to those certain things not only will it improve your reaction time but it will also improve your um, overall gaming awareness to whatever is happening around you and anything, you know, like if people are shooting at you or somebody's coming at you or you're shooting at someone, you'll be able to see them in more frames. And so you'll overall be able to hit more shots and just feel smooth overall. Just keep in mind, though, that you will um, have to at least have more frames to uh, compensate for your monitor's hertz. So if you do only reach about 60 FPS in um, your games that you play, Definitely would not recommend the uh, higher hertz monitors for you. But if you do play highly intense either shooter games or any other game that you want to be smooth, I totally recommend 144 hertz, 240 hertz, um, anything like that. Um, but I would not recommend 360 hertz. I'll link a video down below why um, all pros are not using 360 hertz. So definitely check that out if you're trying to get a 360 hertz monitor. And that might change your mind and you might save couple hundred bucks also when you switch over to 144 hertz or anything higher than 60 and 75 your game will just feel so smooth and so responsive it might take you a while to get used to it because whenever i first switched to a higher hertz monitor i used to play on 60 and i switched over to 144 my gaming experience changed so much that i became like a whole nother player Alrighty, well that's uh, the whole cap of the video i thank you so much for watching I will link some um, 144 to 240 hertz monitors in the description below. So go check those out if you're planning on buying any. Uh, they are really good depending on what graphics card you have. I'll put some in the uh, description. But thank you so much for watching this video. Um, like, subscribe, you know, do all that. I'll also be posting some more YouTube shorts in the future on reviews of certain things such as mice keyboards, monitors, anything like that. So yeah, thanks so much, um, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.